up. They were, that's awesome. Little additions like this instead of critters, much much better. But um, yeah, I mean, like Hellions, for example, when you manage to get a little contain uh, against your opponent, they're very very fast, and I think they're only just a tiny bit uh, slower than speedlings. So, um, you know, you can still pull back any time. You won't have the situation like we had with the Stalkers where you weren't able to get back in time, which makes them very, very good. And he is actually going to be going for them, so I, I do hope we will see that container here. This is a very odd wall off he's got going here. He's kind of blocking off so he can't run around them easily, but there goes the engineering oh, bay. Oh, snap! Uh, I bet hundreds of Protoss and Zerg players out there right now are thinking, I hate it when people do this to me. And look at I that, man. Look at that micro. Ring around uh -huh. the freaking engineering bay. Drone chasing tail here. And it looks like that SCV will go ahead and back off. Um, but the Engineering Bay, regardless, is going to cause some problems for this third base to go down. I mean, it looked like Nurchio really wanted to make that happen. Now, um, Kaz loves to do this. Uh, he should be able to lay down the cancel. Oh, he does not cancel it. Oh. So that was, uh, that was that's pretty crazy. Uh, not canceling his, uh, his Engineering Bay. Not going to get that uh, 75 minerals back. Um, looks like we do see... Empire Cause now finished up with his natural expansion. He's got the Orbital Command out there and Fire Silver. He moves right into the three racks build off of the, and another factory. So two factory, three racks out of the uh, out of the Hellion play that he just now got out on the field. So he's going to start to take map awareness. He's going to burn down these entrance Zerglings and he's going to be able to provide uh, much defense for his, uh, for his natural expansion as well as he may be able to go in there and start taking down these creep tumors. I mean, we just now see Nurchio throwing down those creep tumors here. So, uh, so Nurchio being, a, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, trying to get that third queen out there, trying to make sure to keep up on his injections so he can get a good production rate. Um, but Empire Cause, I mean, he's not actually seeking fulfillment with these, uh, with these Hellions. They're just kind of idly hanging out in the, in the natural expansion. There must be a oh, reason. Snap. And I think, I think we see it. Could Fire. it be? It looks Broader like Hellion? It. it looks like it. Abusive build, es numero uno. I mean, every time we've seen this build, I, I, I don't think we've seen a game where it has failed. And we've casted all, quite a lot of games um, with this kind of tactic play. It's just so hard to scout out. Um, I mean, the, the double factories and the early stim pack, I mean, it all leans towards, you know, double tank production, stim timing finishes up and going straight out there and trying to get the siege mode timing. Um, and the thing is that he's building roaches oh, man. at this moment of time. He's not going to be going Spire and not going to be going Mutalisks early on. So the Hellions, because he's kind of saved them up, done and made so many of them, Nurchio thinks this could be a possible, you know, kind of mech build, lots and lots of Hellions. Um, and it's, it's scared him into making roaches. I think he's playing right into his hands right now. And I mean, I don't want to call it Duffs, but with three Marauders being built at a time with four Hellions and Stim, uh, about 60% complete, I... I I really don't see Nurchi holding this. Holy crap. And, and you know, this double factory build is so cool. Because, look, now he's got quad Hellions on the way out. He's going to be pumping out four of these Hellions at a time, pumping out those Marauders, and, and he's got the full wall off. He's only got the Marines and Hellions. The things that Nurchio knows is there are hanging out at this, at this you know, entry point. Now, it looks like we're about at the 10-minute mark. He should push out at the 10-minute mark just so he can hit that timing of the concussive shell and the stim pack finishing at that time. Looks like he's going to be making it out here. Um, I, I feel like we're going to see him actually hit Nurchio in the face at the, uh, at the about 11-minute mark here in this matchup. Now, these Hellions are, are burning around. They're trying to take down everything on these Zelnaga Watch Hours. He does not want to show the Marauder card just yet, Fire Silver. He wants it to be a surprise, and my god, what a surprise it's going to be. He almost actually sends his Marauders up on the high ground over here, which would have allowed for this uh, Zelnaga Watchtower to see that. These three roaches kind of hanging out there. Not going to let that happen. He's going to send in these Hellions first um, to try to work down on these Roaches. The Roaches are going to pull back. Will he actually scan and take down the Creep Tumors? Or is he just going to go balls to the wall for it? Dude, we're almost at the 11 minute mark. And it looks like here at the 1040, he's going to go right up the ramp. Fire Silver, only Roaches here to fight it off against. And it looks like these Marauders are going to be countering these Roaches right now. And the JJ goes down with a very impressive timing Hellion Marauder push. And that is one abusive strat to keep in your playbook, man. That was huge. Yeah, I mean, there was there was two major points in that. One was the roach transition. I mean, roaches can help in that kind of situation, but they're not ideal. Um, and uh, he did invest quite a lot into them. And two, he went for the infestors. Like, pathogen glands was, I think, 58 out of 80. So he had eight seconds where he could produce them with the extra